Oh, sorry, I'm recording. <laughs> Hello, everybody. Welcome to my video. Okay, for real, this video is about how to no longer have any stress or at least like really reduce the stress. So first of all, stress in our life comes basically from one thing and that's its resistance and negative focus or you could just call it negative focus if you want. Resistance is a part, an aspect of negative focus. Stress is an aspect of negative focus. Sadness, anger, hurt, resentment, blame, regret, worry, apprehension, fear, they're all negative focus. You're thinking something is bad, you're thinking bad things are going to happen and you're viewing the past in a negative light, not through the eyes of love and, and understanding. Most stress comes from <clears throat> our relationship with people. <clears throat> Excuse me. Humans are the most triggering things on the planet for us humans. For our fellow, our fellow humans are the most triggering and stressful. The reason why they're very stressful is because we look on them negatively. We don't. I want to encourage us all or suggest looking at the best in people. Not only looking at the best in people, but also to talk, speak the best words to people, say the nicest things to people, look at the best in people and talk about that encourage people, encourage the best and bring it, try and bring out the best in people. View them in their highest light and treat them that way. And when you do that, you'll help bring out the best. And, and I really mean that in a deep way, reflect on what that means. You'll be helping the best in them to shine forth where it's previously been afraid to, suppressed or fearful about being, being them their good self, their highest self, their, their truer and realer self, their amazing self. See all the conditioning from many, many years and decades on earth has led people to be very, very suppressed, apprehensive of being themselves and being true and sharing their real thoughts and feelings. Having fun and enjoyment and letting their hair down, especially letting their hair down, because uptightness is one of the biggest things on earth. And that's, that's like the enemy of your inner child, which is pure light, lightness and loveliness. I love inner child. I love the true innocence, pure free nature within us that, that we actually are like not within us, but we are. And it was clearly there active when we were children before we got bogged down and suppressed and made uptight by always trying to seek approval and afraid to be afraid to lose approval, afraid to be disapproved, afraid to be rejected or abandoned. So these are some of the core issues that we learn in growing up. So so that's lightness and uptightness. Just get, just allow yourselves to be up, not uptight and. Just breathe and let go of that. It's so beautiful and wonderful. So what do we usually do with people? We usually negatively focus on them and criticize them and see their faults and how they're a problem in our life and make them an enemy, close our heart. And when we close our hearts to love, which, which is who, yes, who we are in our, in our innocent essence, but when we close our heart to this, we're like joyful spirits. We're like not just love, we're like joyful, loving beings. And when we close our heart to love, we don't experience joy or love in that moment. We have suffering and that's an indication. We're just off track. It's like, it's like our way of saying to ourselves, hey, you're off track. You're gonna make it like, it's like when you're hungry, you get like hunger pains really hungry or whatever, thirsty, you get thirst. 
We are not ourselves. We'll experience emotional suffering. So I just want us all to experience free heartedness, free spiritness, and to change how we look at people and to love to look at them tenderly, caringly. But when it comes to stress, stress is basically just seeing the worst in situations and imagining the worst things happening. So like with the people, change your focus and attitude towards life and things. Play around and, and try now. Think of nothing as, as, as bad. That's the fundamental judgment. That's the fundamental negative issue that, in our life that causes us upset. We lose our job. Oh, no, it's bad. It's bad. We don't even maybe think that. We just automatically assume it's terrible. And then all of our other thoughts get triggered into different areas of negative focus. <clears throat> if we're getting in an argument with people, or we've had an argument, we, we think, like, red alert, stress hormones, this is terrible, I shouldn't have had this argument, it's awful, etc. How about viewing this and saying to yourself, this is a good thing. My battery is running low to plug in. How about saying to yourself, this is a good thing. I'm glad we've had this argument. I'm glad I've, you can say this or you can just say to yourself, I'm glad I've had this argument. I'm going to, I'm going to view it positively to learn from it and to get back on track and not to, not to be doing this again. It's not enjoyable, so I'm really ha happy to have had this experience that has taught me, taught me many, many things about myself and different areas of me and my, my hurts, my focusing, and negatively my closed heart, and about another person's sensitivity. So there's like loads of good things about an argument. So my suggestion is just consider looking, looking for the good things in every situation in a true and real way. Man, this is such man, I've lost this charger. Hey, when this happens. <laughs> it's so easy to do that. It'd be funny if I started like really losing the plot. Well, it wouldn't really be really because like even every teacher, you know, I'm not talking about me, every, everybody, but I suppose me included, obviously, every person alive, every famous person, they have their daily moments, like or their weekly or monthly moment, moments. It's okay, it doesn't mean you don't know stuff, it means, well, you know yourself. Just respect and honour the things we can all learn from each other and things people have to teach you and share with you, even if sometimes we go crazy. That's all I'm saying, honour, love and respect. So I suppose you could say that's an example of positive focus. And I have to get this thing quickly.